It's been a long wait, but Yu Huang has finally been revealed as the Jade Emperor in Smite. Subscribe so you don't miss my future god ability overviews for new releases, but without further ado, let's jump into the Jade Emperor's abilities. Yu Huang is a burst mage with solid crowd control and a bunch of unique elements to his kit, such as new targeter types, a self banish as his movement ability, and a really interesting ult targeter that could allow for some huge outplays in teamfights. Kicking things off with his passive, Master of the Dao, this one is a resource management passive where Yu Huang can attune himself to the Dao, gaining one stack of Dao every 15 seconds, as well as one stack whenever he strikes first out of combat. The two also attunes and gives you Dao, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Max Dao is 12, and at 6, Yu Huang's basic attacks chain to one nearby enemy, dealing 75% of the original damage. Dao can be spent in groups of 6 to enhance other abilities, giving them bonus effects that depend on the ability used, so at Max Dao, you can use two enhanced abilities before having to reattune. The basic attack augment works only if you're at or above 6 Dao, fall below that threshold and it turns off, but it's still a persistent effect so long as you have 6 and it doesn't cost any Dao to use the enhanced basics. So this passive is a lot of words for an effect that's actually fairly simple. Get Dao, spend Dao for better abilities, repeat. The real skill test of course comes in choosing which enhanced abilities are the best value for your 6 Dao, so let's jump into those now. Yu Huang's first ability, Flames of the Phoenix, is one of those unique targeters I was talking about. It starts as a cross targeter that deals damage, then applies in a standard circle damage afterwards for a second hit. After the explosion, a field of flames is left for 3 seconds that does mild tick damage and applies a burn to enemies. If Yu Huang is attuned, aka he has 6 Dao available, the circular explosion reduces enemy magical protections by a flat amount on hit. So the targeter for this ability is of course the main focal point and from the look of it, it's going to be fairly easy to get both the cross and the circle on your target for full damage. The protection shred is nice for follow up and the base cooldown of the ability goes down to 9 seconds at max rank which is pretty nose. Moving on though, Dao Cultivation is his second ability and this is where a lot of the Dao for your passive is actually going to come from. Yu Huang cultivates his Dao and fires a narrow projectile that damages and slows enemies it hits before exploding again in a wider area, dealing damage again and rooting enemies. The slow on the first hit usually guarantees you get the second hit and root, which is where a lot of the damage and CC from this ability actually comes from. The ability can be fired early in the charge up for reduced damage, much like many abilities that have a long channel like this, such as Thoth Ultimate. However, Yu Huang can also continue channeling beyond the 1 second required for full damage to gain more Dao up to 6 before firing the ability. More charge doesn't do more damage or CC, just more Dao for your passive. So yeah, as I said, this ability is where a lot of your Dao comes from, and the passive might look a little weak before you see this ability. When clearing waves, it often doesn't matter if you charge your wave clear for 2 more seconds, so you can easily get an on-demand 6 Dao, which is of course the exact amount you need to immediately follow up with an enhanced ability. This would also get you instantly to the threshold for chaining basic attacks, and since it looks like this will be the main wave clear for Yu Huang, hitting the wave with this and having those chain basic attacks available for cleanup or to chain off the brute minion of a wave onto the enemy god could be some really nice poke. Also, can I just say this ability looks so much fun to use, almost like a pocket Ra snipe. Onto his 3 though, Celestial Flight is an interesting take on a movement ability. Yu Huang self banishes into the sky, becoming untargetable, and then slowly floats back down to the ground and damages enemies on landing. You can refire the ability while in the air to fast dive down in a similar manner to Hu Yi's jump, which gives this a bit more choice in how it's used. If Yu Huang is attuned, the Pearl Dragon flies down and knocks enemies away as you land. So as I said, the closest comparison we have to this currently will be Hu Yi Jump, since he also goes airborne and can hover for a chosen amount of time before diving down with a conditional knockup. But it's not a one-to-one -one comparison by any means, just the closest we have to judge this ability on so far. We'll have to see how it plays out when the PTS launches for 9.4 and we get to try the Jade Emperor. But finally, let's get into that juicy ultimate. Yu Huang's ult is the Dueling Dragons. He summons two dragons, one at his location and one at a distance away that opposes his dragon. The ability uses a hinge targeter so that both dragons follow your target when fired, they dive towards that location and push enemies as they go. If both dragons collide when fired, indicated by the extra circle on the targeter, an explosion is triggered that does extra damage in an AoE. The damage split is roughly 60-40 on the dragons and the explosion respectively. If Yu Huang is attuned, the dragon's width is increased by 50%. So again, another unique targeter that's best explained by seeing it in-game than words. The general idea here though is of course that you want the dragons to scoop up a bunch of enemies in a similar way to Charybdis ult, take them all to the intersection point and explode them for big damage. This can have a lot of different applications in team fights, such as pushing enemies off you for self peel, even pushing the enemy frontline or backline into your team with the dragon that opposes yours. The attuned bonus is deceptively strong since it allows you to get even more enemies caught up in those dragons, and the ability seems to have value as a way to group up enemies for potential follow up as well as just the big burst damage. But that's it for Yu Huang. Looks like a very 
very fun kit, although I do sometimes wish there would be more class breaking mages like Al Kwang, magical ADCs, utility mages, all that kind of stuff. But putting that aside and looking at him for what he is, a burst mage, I do like the design. The visuals are honestly stunning, Jade stuff in general is just really awe inspiring and shameless plug is part of the reason I chose the Jade Emperor as the concept for my god for my own no damage god concept. Check it out if you're interested in an alternate design for the Jade Emperor as a support instead of a mage. But other than that, I'll pack up my pocket Rouse snipes and head off to the battleground of the gods. See you guys next time.